everyone. My name is Wendy, Wendy Gilman, and I am the Career Outreach Counselor here at ENMU and a yoga instructor and um, ASAB and Student Life coordinated to have me um, guide you through some de-stress yoga. So I hope that you enjoy it. Um, a couple points before we begin, I just want to let you know that with any posture, any movement that we're doing, always go to your level and what feels good for you. Um, if you do more, if you go further than I go because you're more advanced than I'm going to share today, go for it. If it's less, if you modify a little bit, go for that as well because What's always important in yoga is that you are tuning in to what you need and what feels good for your body. Okay, number one. Also, um, I do have a yoga block. If you have a yoga block, you might want it for a couple things that we're going to do. Um, you could also get a pillow. Um, also, when we are on our knees, if you have knee injuries, you would just fold the mat or give yourself a blanket so that you have extra support for your knees. Just keep those things in mind as you go through this practice. Also, what we're usually doing or we're always doing within yoga is um, synchronizing the breath with the movement. So that's very, very important. That helps to create the sense of union, body and mind, because you, you don't really think much. You're just doing what you're doing. So that's why it helps with de-stress, okay? So as we begin, um, I'd like you guys to begin standing and just take a big inhale and stretch up and just inhale, keep pulling in extra air and then bring the hands together in prayer hands and we're gonna bring it down as we exhale. Prayer hands come to heart center. Just let it all out. And take just a quick moment for visualization. So with all of your to-do lists and all the things that you need to do, just visualize yourself taking it and putting it in the back seat of a car, so to speak, or on a shelf next to you. You're just putting it away, but as soon as we are done, um, it'll still be there for you to do. So you're letting it go for a short time to take care of yourself. Just take a moment with that visualization. Nice. Okay, awesome. I'm going to put on a little bit of music and we'll still uh, be standing. Oops, go this way. <clears throat> okay, nice. Okay, so to um, get started here, we, we're going to get rid of that stress. So just go ahead and just swing. We're just doing uh, swinging your arms. You probably wouldn't think of this as yoga, but this, any movement can be yoga. So just visualizing that you're moving that energy of stress away from you. Do anything you want, be goofy, right, Kinley? Be goofy if you want, whatever you wanna do for a few moments. Start noticing your breath. Pushing that stress away, moving that air around you to clean it up. Clean up any negative energy and move it away. Nice. And when you're ready, just slowly coming back to a standing position. Great. So now we're going to do some very intense uh, cleansing breaths. So let's inhale, reach all the way up. Inhale a little more, a little more. Exhale, bend and come down. Let it out. Inhale up. Exhale, let it all out. Exhale out. One more, inhale and exhale. And stretch up and release down. Beautiful. So still in standing position. 
We're gonna bring our hands together and push out, bringing our chest forward as we inhale and exhale. So we're doing cat cow with our back with an inhale and an exhale. Just keep going, noticing the spine, inhale, opening up, exhale, navel comes to the spine, inhale, exhale. One more time, inhale, exhale, beautiful. From here, let's bring the hands up, take a big stretch, maybe on each side, still noticing your breath, inhaling and exhaling, and then both hands are up, stretching high. We're gonna bend at the elbows, okay? And start with your left hand, reaching your right elbow, and just give yourself a stretch here, going to the left. Should feel so good on your right side body. Always go to where it feels good for you. Breathe. Inhale up, opposite my right hand is on my left elbow, stretching. And you'll notice too, there's a difference between your right and left side. Everybody has that. This stretch is easier for me than the other side. Just notice, be with it. Inhale, come up. And now, <clears throat> Taking your hands like cups, we're gonna go ahead and do a little tapping. Give yourself a gentle massage. You probably really need that around your neck right now and your shoulders. We call it tapping, but it's just kind of giving yourself a little massage. Go up through your neck, up to your head. If it feels okay, close your eyes and gentle tapping around the face is also a really awesome stress releaser. Just little, little bits, definitely around your forehead. Nice, come back down. And whenever you're ready, you can bring your hands back down to the side. Whew, roll the shoulders back. Take the hands together and warm up your hands. So a little warmth on your hands. We're gonna do something that is also grounding and very good for stress release. So you feel that nice warm energy in your hands and take your right hand and put it on your forehead, left hand on the back of your head. Close your eyes just for a moment and just be. Notice your breath. This is really, really good for grounding and a little stress release. You almost feel like you're just nurturing that busy brain right now, giving it a break and giving it a little healing energy. Take a deep breath in and exhale out and release nice bringing the hands down beautiful so now coming to your mat so coming to your mat we're going to begin here in child's pose so child's pose is where you are sitting on your heels roll your shoulders back nice straight back we're gonna inhale and stretch up, and we're gonna exhale, engaging all five fingers, and come down and stretch all the way from your low back. Keep stretching, 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 and what you're doing now is trying to bring your forehead to the mat. It might not be there. This is where you might wanna block. While you have your bottom at your heels or as close as possible. And then bringing your forehead down, massaging the forehead, 
what we call your third eye. You can also feel really good. Energizing through the fingertips there. Feel that stretch all the way from the low back to your neck. This is so good for uh, low back issues. Always go to your breath. And we're going to inhale and lift up halfway. Exhale down. Inhale. Exhale, release down. One more. Inhale, stretch up. Exhale, release down. Inhale, bring the hands over to the right side. So my left hand is either on top of the right or next to it. Bringing my forehead down towards the mat and feeling that stretch in my left side body. Enjoy the breath. Breathing, just noticing that stretch. Inhale, rise up. Exhale, come over to the left side. Right hand is beside the left or on top of it. Stretching the right side body, releasing down. Release the breath. And inhale, come up. And we're going to take tabletop. So for tabletop, our wrists and shoulders are in one line, knees to hips in one line. And all five finger pads are still gripping the mat or engaged in this posture. Notice that your shoulder, you're not dipping down between your shoulders like this. You're kind of on an even straight back. So just make sure you feel that strength in there and tightening a little bit in the abs because we are going to do a little ab work today too. So for now, we'll go ahead and do cat cow. So we inhale, lift up the pelvic area, release the belly down and look up. Exhale, curl up like an angry cat, bringing the navel up to the spine. And take it back opposite again. Inhale. Exhale, spine comes up. And again, inhale. This releases so much tension in your spine. Exhale. And for this last one, take it as far as you can, feeling that belly come down as you inhale. And very slowly as you exhale, bring that navel up, arch the back like an angry cat as much as you can and slowly release down, coming to tabletop. Beautiful. So a little bit of ab work we're gonna do here. <clears throat> Make sure you feel strong and engaged all through your abs, pushing against the earth here. And let's extend out the right foot. Toe is coming down towards the earth. Push up, feel that strength that you have. Take a breath and then we're going to bring up our left hand with that thumb up. Breathe, tightening the abs. Hold just a little bit. Inhale up a little further and release down. Nice. Let's take some hip circles here going in one direction and then the other. And then we're gonna go ahead and move to the left leg. So embracing yourself, feeling that you're pushing against the earth and tightening the belly. And then we go ahead and take out the left foot. Toe is coming down towards the earth. Take a breath, bring up the right hand. You're probably going to feel a difference between the two sides. I do. Breathe. In 
inhale up a little more if you can. And exhale down. A few hip circles here. And we're going to take it a little bit further if that's okay for you, you and your body. Okay? So we're going to go ahead and take out that right leg, left hand. Inhale up, exhale, and bring the elbow to the knee. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale. Last one, I think it was six. Inhale, exhale. Nice. Take any little movements you need here. And we'll switch to the other side. <clears throat> Left leg, right arm, inhale, exhale, elbow to knee, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, last one, inhale, exhale, beautiful. Come down, give yourself just a little stretch now in child's pose. I always feel like I need just a little movement to keep my low back feeling comfortable. And then we come back up again. I'm gonna grab some water close to me. Pretty soon you guys may want a little water too. Okay, so from here we're going to go ahead and curl the toes and come up to down dog. So curl the toes, coming up, pushing up through the pelvic area, through your bottom, way up to the sky, and then slowly bringing the weight down towards your heels. Okay, so you can bend the knees, that's okay. So what we don't want to do is have the weight right over the wrist like this. This is a no-no, this is going to hurt your wrist. You want to lift up and bring the weight back towards your heels. Once you feel like you have a good down dog for you, go ahead and pedal it out. Keep the breath going. One trick you can do too, if your wrists don't feel good, take your um, feet wider than the mat and then go forward and then back towards your bottom, back towards your heels. And you can feel that sensation lengthening your back. And it's very, very safe on your wrists then. So you can always go wider if you need to. And from here, we're gonna go back down into um, tabletop to take cat cow down dog combination. So inhale up, exhale, curve the spine to cat. Inhale, curl the toes. Exhale, back to down dog, take a breath. And coming back down, inhale, exhale. Inhale, exhale back, inhale. Exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale back one more time, coming down to tabletop, inhale, exhale, inhale, curl the toes, exhale, taking it back, beautiful, very nice. So just take a few moments here in, in down dog. And when you're ready, you're going to look to your hand and you can either walk slowly or take a little hop to your hand. So if you're taking a little hop, just bend the knees and then come forward. From here, come to the top of your mat and we're going to take forward fold. So go ahead and exhale, come down and release. Just letting it all go. Bend your knees as you need to. <clears throat> Inhale, rising up, stretching all the way up to the sky. Exhale, release down again. Inhale, halfway lift. So you're gonna have your hands on your shins. 
And when you do that, you don't want to curl your back, but instead take it out, lengthening. Neck should be in a happy posture, but you're lengthening out. So notice the difference. I'm arching my back and extending my back. Feels so different. So make sure you try that. And we're gonna exhale down, <clears throat> inhale, come up. And we're gonna take a little bit of a flow now. So we're gonna get a little faster. Exhale down, inhale halfway. Exhale, frame the feet. My right foot's coming back, knee down. Slowly coming up from here. So if you need to stay here, you can stay here or you're gonna come all the way up, hands up and Johnny Asana, shoulders down. Your fingers are engaged, looking forward, tightening here to keep your balance. You can flatten your foot if you want to. Take a breath, exhale, frame the foot. Bring it back to down dog. Take a breath here. Make sure again, your weight is coming towards your heels. We're gonna inhale, come forward in high plank. Woo, pushing against the earth, you should feel this. In high plank, make sure that you are not dipping way down. That's bad for your low back. You can lift it up a little bit, that's okay. Push against the earth, see if you can hold it a moment and slowly come down, knees, chest, chin. Inhale, baby cobra, my hands are very close to my chest. Inhale, up, exhale, down. Inhale, coming back up through the pelvic area to down dog, beautiful. Inhale, right leg comes up again for three-legged dog. Exhale, bring it between the hands and that left knee is coming down now. Inhale up again, and Johnny Asana. Exhale, frame the foot. We bring the left back to the right so we can start over again on the left. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale, halfway lift. Exhale down, left foot comes back, left knee down. And again, always go to where you need to. You can go to here, you don't have to go all the way up. Inhale up. If it works for you, you're gonna take it all the way up. Excuse me. Looking forward, shoulders down, take a breath. Exhale down, frame the foot, back to down dog. <clears throat> Bring the weight towards the heels. Left foot comes up high to the sky, three-legged dog. Oh, <clears throat> whoops, I meant, let's bring that down actually. Let's go like this, go back to down dog and come forward. We need that challenge again in high plank, right? Okay, push against the earth, hold for a moment. Coming down slowly in control. Knees, chest, chin. Inhale up, baby cobra. Exhale down. Inhale all the way up. And now we're gonna take that left leg up to the sky and three-legged dog. Bring it between the hands. Right knee down. And inhale, rise up. Beautiful. So from here, we're gonna take a little bit of a stretching time. Frame the foot, flatten the right foot, come forward, inner thigh stretch. Come back, lift up your left toe, like a half runner split. Come down as far as you can, of course. Exhaling, coming down. Inhale, come up, and we're going to bring the feet to about three to four feet apart here. We're on train tracks. Inhale, come forward. Exhale, folding down. Inhale, up. Lift up the right foot, bring it together. Inhale, up. Exhale down, inhale, halfway lift, exhale down, 
right knee, uh, left knee comes back so we can do our stretch on the right side. Okay, so we're gonna go forward, inner thigh stretch, come backwards, inhale, lift up the right toe, stretch out and come down, exhaling. Just release, it feels so good in through here and underneath. One more inhale and exhale. <clears throat> Plant that right foot, come up on the left, three to four feet apart, train tracks here. Inhaling, stretching out, exhale, come down as far as you can for pyramid pose. Inhale, bring the left foot to the right foot, stretch up, take a sip of water if you'd like to, like me. I have the harder part because I have to talk too, guys. You guys have the easier part. Okay. <clears throat> so we were at the top of the mat and we're gonna go ahead and now open your legs and take a nice big wide stretch. All right. Roll the shoulders back. And we're gonna work on warrior two just a bit, okay? So <clears throat> right now, I'm basically having my heels in one line, like they're, there's heel to heel, so to speak. We're gonna go ahead and take that right foot and open this as a wider stretch if you can. And now you can see that my um, ankle to my knee is basically in one line and I'm out. Then you open the body this way, extend the arms out. Look at your middle right finger and you have warrior two. So go ahead and try that. Then we're gonna inhale, bring that foot back to where it was, come down and take it on the other side. Now, since we're doing it with movement, our knee is gonna go over the ankle just a little bit, but traditionally you wanna be careful that when you're holding the posture, it's open wide, looking at that finger, and you're not going way over um, your ankle. That's safe for your knees. Okay, so we'll go ahead and do this with motion. Looking at the left, bringing it together, going to the right, bringing it together. So inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale, inhale, Exhale, inhale, exhale, one more each side. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. So from here, let's <clears throat> take uh, the toes. So you're kind of going out on a 45 degree angle. If any of you ladies that are there, I don't know if there's any guys there, have ever done ballet. This is like, um, I think second position. So my feet are going out, all right? And I'm gonna go down with my knees. Oh, I almost lost my balance there a minute talking. So we're gonna go down and we're trying not to stick the bum way out, okay? We're trying to go down with a straight back and you're gonna feel that more in your quads. So going down with a straight back, we're gonna bring our hands together. So this is one where you can put your hands here. This is goddess pose. So you guys are all incredible goddesses. So it's time for goddess, right? So we inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up, exhale down. Inhale up. Exhale down, beautiful goddesses. Go as far as you can. Inhale up, exhale down. Let's keep going a little more. Inhale, exhale, inhale, exhale. Let's hold it for a moment. And I have a challenge for you. 
So you want to lift up on your left foot or right foot, whichever one, okay? I'm on my right to engage your quad, okay? So we'll go back and forth. Woo! Inhaling, exhaling, feeling that engagement in the legs, right? Taking it as far as you can. Maybe you want to put your hands here instead. Just take some time to feel that. Keep the breath going. And then we're going to slowly come up. Still stay in a wide stance. If you have a block, you would put it between your legs. So wide legged stance here, stretching right out. But now my toes are going to be mostly straight. Exhale, come down to the mat or to the ground. And you're going to stretch as far as it works for you, opening the legs. So if you're someone who can put your head down, you're going to bring your head all the way down. Exhale and release. Exhale. Inhale. Slowly coming up. Beautiful. From here, leave your left hand in the middle. Your right hand, you're going to stretch up. Nice long line of energy through the fingertips. And exhale down. Other side, inhale, exhale, take it again, inhale, exhale, and again, inhale, and exhale. Beautiful, bring to, um, toe heel, toe heel, to bring your legs together here. Just come on up and stretch up. I have to change something here quick as you're in a um, standing posture. Okay, nice. <laughs> okay, so from here, let's inhale, stretch up, bring the hands together to heart center. And as you exhale, touching the forehead, think of an I am. I am calm, I am focused, I am well. Slowly coming down, bowing your head to heart center. Deep breaths in, deep breaths out. Nice, let's take it again. Think of your affirmation again. Inhaling up, hands come together. I am, and we bow down to the heart center for that. Beautiful. As you're ready, coming up, opening the eyes, bringing the hands to the side. So we're going to do a little bit with balance and a little bit with abs. So <clears throat> with balance, it's very important to bring your heart rate back down. Um, if your heart rate is up too high and you're shaky, it's much harder to balance. Balancing is also very, very good for creating more mental focus, which we all need during finals. So let's go ahead and just notice the right and the left foot and your weight, just kind of noticing that sensation of moving the weight back and forth. And then we're going to become still. As you become still, you want to find what we call a dristi, a point that you can focus on that is not moving um, for your focal point in order to create more balance here, okay? So you can begin with the right or the left. I'm gonna go on my, I put my weight on my left side and bring up my right leg, okay? So you would just wanna bend the knee and lift up, straightening up. Holding. 
finding that focus point. And slowly releasing. I also find that um, based on your mood and things, the balance can be different. Um, when you feel like you can't balance, it's when you need it the most, okay? Because <laughs> it helps you to bring your heart rate down. So then do a switcheroo and I will put my weight on my right side and we're gonna go ahead and lift up the left leg, okay? Bending, finding that focus point. Breathing, staying with it. And slowly releasing down. Nice. So let's come down to the toes here. And again, we'll do a little balance if it works for you. So you're on your toes. Find that focus. Find that place to just focus. And then we're gonna slowly bring up our hands to heart center. If you're feeling really brave, you can put your hands all the way up and guess what? No one will see you if you fall down. Beautiful. I hope you guys are enjoying that. I'm slowly coming down. And there is no easy way to come out of that posture. You're going to fall on your bum, so just do it. <clears throat> so then let's take the feet together and open the legs for butterfly, stretching out the inside of our thighs. Just taking some movement with that. Awesome. Okay, so extending the legs out. Nice long stretch here. Um, so we are sitting up straight, roll the shoulders, toes are pointed up, and inhaling for staff pose, exhaling, extending down, and stretching to touch towards our toes. You might have your hands here, that's okay. You should feel a really nice stretch in your low back. Then let's inhale, cactus the arms. Exhale, raise them up. Inhale again, cactus the arms. Exhale down. And again, inhale, cactus the arms. Exhale, straight. Inhale, cactus, exhale, release down. Taking it one more time. Inhale up, cactus the arms, exhale, extending. Inhale, exhale, release down, beautiful. Okay, guys, slowly, mindfully coming back. And we're going to do some interesting ab work for a moment. So, <clears throat> bending the knees, flat to the mat. We're going to bring up the legs, feet, arms, hands, like we are a chair upside down, okay? So, <clears throat> slowly, mindfully, bringing down the left, foot left leg slowly and right hand very very slowly hovering about three four inches above the earth and folding you should feel that in your abs just breathe be with it Slowly, mindfully, as slow as you can, bringing it back, other side, right leg, left arm, very, very slowly. And 
and hovering above the earth here. Again, I feel it more on one side than the other, and you may as well. Just being with it, being tough, being brave, you've got it. Slowly coming up, we're gonna take it one more time on each side. So going back to the left leg, right arm. Keep the breath going. Slowly, mindfully returning back. And the other side for the last one. I hope you guys are feeling it. And slowly, mindfully returning. Bend the knees and give yourself a big hug. <clears throat> Massaging your low back. And bringing the feet down close to your bum, knees bent. Open your hands up overhead. We're gonna do a little bit of a uh, bridge work. So we're inhaling as we exhale. Bring up your hip area, your bottom, engaging the quads for bridge. And exhale down, feeling yourself pushing with your feet into the earth. Exhale, inhale, rising up a little more as you push your feet into the earth, rising up and exhale down. Last one, we're gonna add a little something to it. So inhale, pushing up, bringing the hands together. If you can, intertwine your hands, intertwine your fingers underneath your hips to lift up just a little bit higher, just a little bit more. Breathe and just be with it. Slowly, mindfully coming down, giving yourself another lovely little massage here on the low back. And from here, we're gonna go ahead and just squeeze everything really tight, really, really tight as we get ready to just release and end the practice. Tightening and exhale, release, allowing your legs to just come down to your side, arms down to your side, just laying here. Take a deep inhale in and out. Rub your hands together like we did before. Warming up your hands, nice healing energy. Think about that I am that we did in the middle of the practice. That I am thought, I am well, I am focused. Taking your right hand to your heart center, left hand to your belly, closing the eyes and focusing on your I am. melting into the mat, the 
hip area, releasing and relaxing. Low back area, relaxing. Shoulders melting. Muscles releasing all the way to your fingertips. Take your head, your neck, back and forth. And then just allow it to rest in the middle. Just be with this for a moment. Beautiful, deep breath in, deep breath out. Slowly, mindfully bringing yourself up to a seated posture. Possibly with your legs crossed if that works for you. Nice long spine, roll the shoulders back, feeling grounded wherever you're sitting, feeling lengthened through the spine, through the crown of the head. Inhale up, bring the hands together to prayer hands. Thumbs touch the forehead as a reminder of conscious living and compassionate thoughts. Thumbs come to the lips to speak your truth with compassion. Thumbs come to the heart center as a reminder to have an open, grateful heart. Inhale, exhale as we release the practice. Namaste. Thank you for practicing with me. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And best of luck with everything. And I hope to see you in real life in the near future. Bye for now.